Resistance 2 picks up literally where Resistance 1 left off, which was, you know, one of the launch titles for PS3, where now the fight, you know, for the Chimera kind of invading, not, they've started in Europe, and now they've moved over to the U.S., and so now you're basically following Nathan Hale's journey across the U.S. We're showing some big stuff off in terms of our boss, one of our boss fights, the Leviathan, which is a, basically a 300-foot Chimera enemy that you face uh, in Chicago, and he's basically picking you up and tossing you across the city, and you basically have to find a way to survive. So that's one of the things we're showing off. We're showing some more multiplayer as well in um, the Oric California setting. 60 players, I mean, I know it's a big number and people kind of go, oh, 60 players, how is that going to be organized? Well, we have this one mode called Skirmish, which is basically like an objective-based mode where you have two squads, which are, say it's 60, so split 30-30, then among that group of 30, we, we break you down into four to six guys, and then you will be kind of told objectives on the fly, so you'll be told to defend here, go attack here, to, uh, uh, protect your VIP, and you'll kind of be doing this with another another rival squad, which is kind of kind of be your your main adversary in the battlefield. So we've been kind of been talking about having massive battles, greater NMC. So even though you're among 60 players in this battlefield, you'll always be pitted usually against a, a smaller squad, so it doesn't feel so chaotic. We're creating a completely separate uh, co-op mode that kind of tells a parallel story. It's, it has some story light elements to it. You're kind of going to learn something else that's going on in America during this time. But it's cla it's a team-based play, class-based, so you have a, you, some people can play as a medic, a soldier, a spec ops, and you'll basically the whole thing is playing as a team. If you don't play as a team, you will quickly die, and it's working together, and as you progress through the, the co-op mode, you can um, customize your character, level them up, and we have a lot of cool upgrades that we're not talking about just yet, but I think when they, people see them, they're really going to dig them. Weapons have always been an Insomniac staple. I mean, you've seen the, with the Ratchet and Clank series, you know, I mean, we've always had crazy fun weapons, and the resistance, obviously, from the bullseye and the auger to our hedgehog grenade. Now we have, you know, we, same thing, you know, we, have, we tweak those, those great weapons from R1, plus we're introducing a bunch of new ones, the Marksman, which is kind of like a long-range weapon. We have this Wraith, which is kind of like a, a big minigun, a chain gun that like now has secondary, has a like, shield pops up. And then we have this new grenade where if you throw it, it kind of a, like a fire starts to spread all over the place. It'll climb on walls, it'll climb through windows. In R1, you could basically have all your weapons at, the, at, all, at all times. Now we're limiting you to a two-weapon system, and basically that does two things. It allows us to introduce some of the more exotic weapons earlier in the game, and it'll definitely enhance the, the way we design our enemy encounters. Another thing is our cutscenes. The first game was told from a third-person perspective from uh, the, the Parker character, and now we're redoing our cutscenes. Uh, we're using a lot of mocap, some new camera technology. They look really good, and I think they'll help suck people into this this story um, even greater than with, when they experienced in Resistance One. No, no news about no, nothing. To talk about a demo, but um, the game will be coming out in the fall of 2008.